you guys are obviously very young, but is she the one? Like, do you talk about that? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Wait, that's, you're lighting up so much, you're <laughs> smiling so much, it's adorable. Uh, I need the show to be so mind-blowingly brilliant. I want that too. I love this new movie. It comes out October 11th. What did you love about this project when you first read the script? Um, I, uh, well, I mean, I, I was drawn to the character instantly. I thought the character was really fun. He was kind of darker, a little bit more mysterious. Uh, and also, he was so passionate about, about, about dance, about what he did. But also, the, the added element of dance for this was something that I've always loved in films and also mm. always loved doing because it adds that extra, that extra element. I think it's like a, it's, it's a, it's another amazing way to tell a story. Sure. And so I was really drawn to that. You missed the turn. I don't need to see it again. I can do the turn. Fine. Xander is very layered. Use that <laughs> word. Layered. How would you describe him? Um, yeah, I mean, definitely a, a layered individual. Uh, I think he needs to go to therapy. <laughs> he needs <laughs> he needs therapy. to come on this couch. Yeah, yeah. he needs to take a nap. Right <laughs> no, yeah, he is, um, he's obviously very, very, very passionate about, about his, his craft and he knows what he wants to do and he has this vision and that's it. It has to be that vision and if it's, it can't be anything else. And so he's kind of quite arrogant with that, but there's also quite an endearing quality about that as well. I mean, apart from his quick digression mm. and, and stuff like that, like there is something that, that you can like fall in love with. You seem very opposite of Xander. Yeah. I mean, I don't know you well, but I'm <laughs> talking to you. Do you agree with that or do you disagree? I am, uh, yeah, I completely agree. I, uh, yeah, I mean, I think I, I think I'm quite like chill. You uh, were also in the Descendants movies, so you have singing, dancing background. Kind of talk about that and why that worked in this film, even though we don't really see you dancing, dancing all that much. <laughs> well, I mean, I am. Um, yeah, I've always. I left school early because I was like, I'm just gonna waste my time here. You're so like, I'm I, destined for I'm destined for Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I was. I was quite young and so I didn't think I was ready for acting college. So I went to the MJ Academy of Performing Arts in Edinburgh, which is like musical theatre. Sure. And so I did three years of musical theatre there. And then obviously started working for Disney. Um, and that was a lot of singing and dancing and then Descendants. And, and so yeah, it kind of seamlessly flowed into to yeah. High Strung, which was quite good. You do have a song on this soundtrack. It's called Masterpiece. Yes, yeah, I do. We premiered the video yeah. for it. Did you write the song? I didn't know. You didn't know. I no. didn't write the song, no. It sounded great. You used to have a great oh, voice. Thank you very much. Do you yeah. see more music in your future? You know what? I would actually love to. I, I just did a, a Hulu series um, called High Fidelity. Yes. Uh, and I play a musician in that who sings and so there are there's a few songs coming out from that as well and I also had to learn how to play the guitar can you play the guitar now I can yeah yeah a little bit not well a little but, yeah don't don't hand me a guitar I was gonna say does anyone have a guitar <laughs> here let's let's put him to the test um but your girlfriend also very musical you yeah. guys start in Descendants together yes what do we have lined up for you to work on next because well, we need to make us, this happen. us together yeah <laughs> well we've talked about this a little bit well here's the thing I mean Obviously, Wicked. There's talk about Wicked, Cl Dove for Glinda. Yes. No one's been mentioning Fiero, so. Is this is this the official? I'm just saying. Do you let's start pushing it? I'm ready for it. <laughs> Do you know the character well? Do you know the play, the musical? Yeah. Well? Oh, I must have seen the musical about seven times. Okay. Yeah, and like on the West End, I saw it about six times on the West End, and I saw it once on Broadway. And I love it. So you're ready for it. I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready. Steven, whoever's going to direct it. We need to make this happen. What's <laughs> your favorite song off the Wicked soundtrack? Um, I like... I just put you in the hot seat, sorry. No, there's a few. I'm trying to think of... Dan I think Dancing Through Life. Okay, it yeah. It makes me so happy. So good. Yeah. For some reason, I picture you and Dove just like watching Wicked. <laughs> <laughs> and being like we love this so much. She just sings it. She just she always sings. Yeah. Around the house, and she's always singing like Wizard and I and 
stuff. Yeah. But in saying that, I know popular. Popular is so good. Off my heart. Here, here, you have a stage. Whenever. No, I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> How does Dove feel watching you have to film romantic scenes? Because there's a few kissing scenes in this movie. There is, yeah. Um, I mean, everything I've done actually this far has been like I've had to kiss. Like I just did um, Catherine the Great with him. You got really good and, reviews for that, by the way. Oh, did I? Yeah. I need to check it out. Yeah, you did. That's cool. Um, but yeah, I had a intimate scene with Dame Helen Mirren, as you do. Um, what was that like, by the way? <laughs> um, I mean, like, she's such a professional. She's like the most lovely person. Uh, really, really laid back, because obviously, like, you think, oh, it's Helen Mirren, like, but she's so, so, so down to earth, so funny. I'm surprised that she is down to earth, because I do think she's such a regal figure, Oh my God, yeah, figure, you, you, you know? I mean, she has that, like, presence this kind of thing about her yeah but it's not it's not it's not negative it's not it's, it's not like an arrogance it's like i don't know it's like a beautiful thing yeah, yeah and she is a, she's a, she's so so talented um but i had a scene with her and that was she's such a pro it was so chill uh, and then i had one with zoe in high fidelity and then obviously i have one with juliet and this and what was your question? How's it? How's this going? She's fine, you know. It's it's her job. She gets it. She gets it exactly. Yeah. Um. And yeah, it, it is what it is, and we're both professionals. We both love each other and trust each other so much as well. Sure. So it's it's not. It's a little bit of yeah jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have to do it as well. Uh, yeah, you have to natural, deal with it. So. How do you deal with it? You're fine with it. <laughs> I am. Like, it, it is. It's weird. Like, it's really weird. Like, can you imagine yeah. if your partner, like... Is, like, making out with someone else? Yeah. Yeah. It is bizarre. But, yeah, I guess you, you just... It's part of the job. And, like I say, we trust each other. Yeah. We love each other, so... You guys have been together, what, three? Three years, yeah. Three years. Yeah. When's the three-year anniversary? It just passed or it's coming up? Okay, this is a really weird one because... We say the anniversary is in February, but we did start cracking on in, like, October... Oh, so it could be, it's like it's right around this time. This time yeah. Do you celebrate? Do you do anything? We buy loads and loads of donuts and pizza. Wait, really? Yeah. 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 You guys are obviously very young, but is she the one? Like, do you talk about that? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Wait, that's, you're lighting up so much, you're <laughs> smiling so much, it's adorable. <laughs> oh, no, of course. I mean, she's, she is just the most incredible person I've ever met. Like, she's so... I mean, I, I think people see her as so talented because mm. obviously that's how she, that's her job mm -hmm. to, to, to perform and to all the rest of it. But she's so, she's the most compassionate and most patient and most like genuine loving person I've ever met uh, and so kind and so generous. Like she's just amazing. She really is. I love that. Yeah. And I, and I always like. Sometimes, like, I see people, like, being mean to her on social media and stuff. And it's, it makes me so sad because not only for her, but also for them because they've misinterpreted so much. Yeah. She she's a lovely a, person. She's so lovely. She doesn't have a bad bone in her body. No. That's I mean, we said earlier, she looks like a doll and she is a doll. Yeah, a poly So, <laughs> yeah. Tell those haters to just pipe down. <laughs> what do you think people are going to love most? about this movie when they watch it? <clears throat> I don't know, they, it's so, it's so um, multifaceted, is that the word? Yeah. The right word? It's, there's so much, I mean, if you, if you love dance, you'll be drawn to it, but even if you don't love dance, you'll, you'll still be moved by it, and there's the love triangle, and then there's the individual's goals, like Barlow wants to become a Broadway star, and Xander wants to become this amazing choreographer, and Charlie wants to come, so there's it's so many, there's so many dimensions going on, so yeah, it just makes for like a really, really entertaining watch. Uh, there is a theme in this movie, I would say, where, you know, Barlow has these aspirations, dreams, if you will, and your character almost wants a bigger name mm -hmm. to play the lead. Have you ever experienced that in Hollywood? Oh my, all the time. Really? Yeah, of course, all the time. I mean, it's an, it's on, I almost see it as like an apprenticeship, which I'm actually quite grateful for as well, because I think being able to guest here and guest here and then star in this, and like that's what I love, love to do. Mm -hmm. And kind of 
almost earn your name as sure. opposed to just like landing something massive because because you get to really like develop your craft as well which is cool i do feel like a lot of people do know who you are though because your instagram what five million oh, not yet four, well, almost four. Oh, we're getting there though yeah, we're, we're almost there, there. We're there. Do and you follow me? i'm gonna follow you gonna I'm, I did look at your Instagram <laughs> and I was amazed by the engagement. Like you get just as many likes as a Kardashian gets. Yeah. Well, that's the next step. I mean, my manager's here. We're going to try and go down the avenue of uh, keeping up with Thomas. Is that? <laughs> we're doing a reality show? <laughs> Can you imagine? That... Oh God, it'd be so boring. <laughs> Do you read the comments though? Um, I don't actually. I mean, like sometimes I'll, within the first like hour, because people are always like, say hi or like notice me or like I love you and so I will make like a conscious effort to to like them or like say hi yeah because I mean like the fans are they're amazing they're so supportive yeah like the like I know everyone says the best but like actually the best (laughs) really really uh involved so involved yeah like it's just so supportive and like they just always like they know what's going on and they're always yeah just really makes such a big difference sure going back to losing out on roles to bigger names is there one that you can think of where you were like i really wanted this but they ended up going with zach efron you guys sort of look like you know what i always get who richard madden (gasps) yes yes like you don't understand it's so embarrassing that's not embarrassing no it is wait till i tell you the story i was in (laughs) i was in burbank i was at starbucks and a girl was like, oh my God, are you who I think you are? And <laughs> descendants had just come out. And so I was a bit I love like, your English accent, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> or American, I should say. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's me. <laughs> and she's like, can I get a photo? And I was like, yeah, of course you can. Like, doing the whole thing. And then I was getting a photo with you, and she was like, oh my God, I loved you in Game of Thrones. And I was like, wow, this is so embarrassing. And then I didn't know whether to be like, no, it's not me. And so, so you I took I the picture? I decided just to be Richard Madden. <laughs> so somewhere she's going around being like, look, I met Richard Madden. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. hilarious. Yeah, yeah. So I get that quite a lot. Yeah, well, maybe you'll star in one of the Game of Thrones prequels, prequels that they're sequels. doing. Yeah, are they doing one? They're doing one. Are they? I think a couple are in the running. Gotta works. give the people what they want. So your manager's here, right? Let's yeah. let's put the calls in. <laughs> what do you see for yourself? Like, is there a certain career path that you are like, I want to be like a Leo, or what do you see for yourself? I mean, I think I think when obviously when I started, I was like, I want to be Leonardo DiCaprio. Like, I love him. I think he's incredible. Um, but I think as you you start to kind of create your own path, you start to realize that it is it's such an individual experience. It's all you can't compare. There's no point comparing because mm-hmm. it's never going to be the same. And if you do compare, it's or you do try and achieve something that someone else has achieved, it's it's not authentic. It's not actually what you wanted. It's the idea of what you thought that you wanted. Mm. And so, I've as I kind of keep working, I do. I have started to let go of like expectations or like comparisons, mm. uh, and have started to just to follow instinctively what what I want to do. Sure. Um, which is really like liberating and really free and it makes you enjoy it much more. And I, as well, I think you can apply that not just to this industry, but like just to life generally. In general, yeah. yeah. It's a, an important lesson, I think. To yeah, learn. definitely. Yeah. N- no expectations and just have yeah. fun. <laughs> well, more movies or more TV, if you could pick? Um, I'd, I would like to do, a, I'd, I'd, the next thing I would like to do a movie. 